On the 10th of October, my latest song, Below Tambourine Town, was released. I've put a link in the description to YouTube Music where you'll find the song. And it was also the same day I took the train ride to the airport. Hi everybody. Well, today I decided, since it was my birthday, I was going to go for a ride on the new train line to the airport. <laughs> This is the, the different timeline there. It goes in about six minutes or something. Uh, four minutes. Anyway, so I will show you some of the route and when we get to the International Airport, hopefully it will all work out. So here I am on the new train line, first day after it was opened yesterday and I have to move around the carriages to get somewhere to talk where there's nobody sitting so I don't look like an idiot chatting to my phone. This is where the Indian Pacific leaves from to go over to Sydney. I've tried about five times to record this little section so I'm just going to make it short and sweet. What you can see behind the um, station there the, is a bridge being built for the railway tracks. One will be the new line through to the airport and the other will be the line through to Midland. So it's still not quite finished yet, there's a lot of works on the side you'll see as we're going along, um, but they'll get finished eventually. We are now going down into the tunnel which will go under the Swan River. It stays under the Swan, it stays down in the tunnel until it comes out on the other side of the airport. It's a 
interesting coming on this because you learn about things. I didn't realise the tunnel went from before the Qantas terminal exit to the International. So this is Airport Central Terminal. Escalators a little bit fast. Okay, I'm just going to go up the escalator. It's quite steep. So now we follow along here, the Sky Bridge it's called. To terminal one and two. It's pouring with rain right now. That's the entrance to Virgin over there, but I'm not going there, I don't think. So we've just come out here. This is the lifts or the stairs, so you can bring, catch the lifts down. And the domestic terminal Virgin is along there, and the international is entrances here. So I'm going to go in here and go and get some coffee. chicken areas. I'm going to go up there and see if I can get a coffee. Long time since I've been up to the viewing deck here. Um, this thing used to take forever to get up there so hopefully they've fixed it by now. So I'm up on the viewing deck of the Perth International Airport. There's a Cathay Pacific plane over there. I'll zoom in. And there's a Virgin going out. And the Virgin just sitting there with its engine covered. So I'll go down the end and we should see the Virgin plane fly out. That's the Qantas terminal over there. They're separated from this one, but eventually they're going to build it on the other end of this terminal. I missed that landing. It's probably why the Virgin plane's waiting to leave. You just won't see this video till late. October but it's actually the 10th of October now which is my birthday as I said so, nice little trip on a train new train line and to the airport for my birthday and she's off Awesome against the black sky. 
So we've come up on the lifts from the ground floor, um, from the terminals, and we follow the travelator and the bridge along to the entrance into the railway station. So I decided I would go along the travelator. It wasn't quicker, I could walk quicker, but you know, sometimes it's fun to just do that. So by the time you finish watching this video, you'll know how to get to and from Perth International Airport or the Virgin Terminal. It's pretty quiet because there's no international flights to at the moment. And as it's just international and Virgin on this side, it won't be busy all the time. So I picked a good time to come. I think we have a cleaner cleaning the travelator. There you go, we've just been to the new Perth Airport Central train station and I'm about to catch the train back to the city. Two days later I decided to catch the train again and get off at the Red Cliff station which is where you catch the Qantas Link bus from the station to the Qantas terminal. The buses run every 15 minutes and take about oh, 5 to 7 minutes to get to and from. Uh, depends on the traffic and how many people are catching the bus and loading luggage onto the bus. But it's quite convenient really for Qantas passengers and international Qantas passengers because the Qantas international planes still land at the old Qantas terminal. Well I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and you've watched it to the end so that if you're travelling to Perth or leaving Perth you know how to get to and from the airport via the railway transport. So it's been a long time coming but most of us in this area are really happy to have it. So enjoy if you're traveling it. Thanks for watching and cheerio till next time.